You read me Bible bedtime stories. Carve truth with your tongue. Right from the start, you performed pediatric open heart surgery, double bypassing Easter bunnies and Santa Claus with Jesus aortic one way vows, flowing water into wine as blood in my heart. Your faith was fact. For my five year old mind had no hesitation in believing that there were armies of angels that battled demons to the death daily for the right to walk the night filled space between me, my bed, and my closet. Without understanding metaphor, I would wake up every single morning literally thanking God for the angels I knew out of fear of the demons you said were truth. Truth you understood less than I did, but was water in the whitewashed world you made H2O clear to me as you permanently RGB the third eye picture of three. God, a man, and his son. You see, Abraham was painted as a test of faith from God. His face canvassed truth when he told Isaac his son they were to go make an animal sacrifice on the mountainside. Isaac was unaware that he was actually building his own altar. His, his father wore a guise made from the cloth of God's request to lie. His son down with his dagger, smile at the sky, and punch cold heart steel in the heart of his own blood. My pulse has never been so fierce as that night, for the demons I believed to be truth in my closet became nothing more than piles of dirty clothes. Next to your father's serious eyes, bleeding tears of God-fearing faith, baptizing me in belief, raising your dagger high above your head, but piercing my childhood mind die with the words, if God asked of me, you know I would have to do the same. Those same words that, can, that sharpened your faith to a razor's edge of black and white conviction constructed an altar from my bed, where armies of angels were suddenly stoic as they watched you sacrifice your son to a god not even they wanted to believe in anymore. Because even though God's voice shouted, Abraham, stop! The instant before Isaac's blood spilled over his mountain's top, it occurred to me, I never heard God's voice. Only yours. And there were so many times when your tongue unleashed a thousand wild stallions stampeding towards my child's open beating chest, chained to God's ground, unable to make sense of the sounds that pounded hoofprints over playtime. And they say actions speak louder than words. So this is me actively forgiving you, Father, for you knew not what you were doing all those times you scarified my backside with Bible belted lines like, this is going to hurt me more than you. You didn't know you were passing on the family blood lies. You were just trying your best to read me the braille of life with cataracts on your fingers. And I no longer wake up thankful to a God I've never heard answer me, you're welcome. Instead, I'm thankful for that night that gave me the metaphorical sight to say, STOP! My God doesn't need to be that right. 